Welcome to the Northeast Kingdom Tourism Ambassador Program. This video has been designed to familiarize you with the Northeast Kingdom Byway with a specific focus on byway attractions. If you take the time to explore the Northeast Kingdom Byway, you'll be introduced to a region where simplicity overshadows technology and the tapestry of hills, trees, lakes, and villages provides inspiration for artists, craftspeople, writers, and musicians. A stroll through the galleries, museums, studios, and workshops that can be found along the Byway Corridor will reveal the influence of time and tradition on the creative spirit that's taken root here. Located in Derby is the Cowtown Elk Ranch. Elk were once native to Vermont and made their return in April of 1992. The foundation of 25 cows and one majestic bull came from Idaho. Elk do very well here and the herd now numbers over 350 animals. The Cowtown Elk Ranch began with 20 acres and has since expanded to 70 with state-of-the-art handling facilities. Mature bulls in their prime are transported to a hunt park in Irisburg, a 700-acre wonderland that includes not only some of the best elk bulls in the world, but also fallow deer, white-tailed deer, moose, and buffalo. All are fed to create super antlers and frames. Stocked fish ponds are also available on the property, as is a nice modest camp with all of the amenities. In an adjoining pasture is a large buffalo herd. The camp is available to trophy hunters who enjoy the getaway, take pictures, and enjoy nature like you can nowhere else. Roads abound the property and four-wheelers are available. This is a true once-in-a-lifetime memory that visitors won't be able to get home quick enough to tell their friends about. Also located in Derby is the Haskell Free Library and Opera House. The Haskell Free Library works to provide materials and services to meet the educational, informational, cultural, and recreational needs of the community. They provide materials and services in both English and French languages. The Library and Opera House are uniquely located on the U.S.-Canadian border, such that you could literally stand in two countries at once. Tours of the Haskell Opera House are available from May 1st through October 31st during regular library hours. A schedule of performances is always available on their website. Completed in 1920, the Burke Mountain Clubhouse is the center of East Burke Village. The building serves as a community center and houses the East Burke Community Library. This structure is a beautiful example of the period architecture and is handsomely furnished with historical items. The White Schoolhouse Museum, which was a one-room schoolhouse from 1817 until 1894, sits on the clubhouse grounds. The Burke Mountain Toll Road winds up the face of Burke Mountain to almost the very peak. There are scenic views from the parking area at the top of the road and a very short walk takes you to the Old Fire Lookout Tower, which offers 360 degree views. The road is open from 8 a.m. until about a half an hour before sunset from May 1st through late October, weather permitting. Tolls are collected at the entrance. Vermont custom furniture maker Doug Clowner specializes in handcrafted solid wood furniture for home decor, office, and unique furniture gifts. Rooted in the Shaker tradition, his furniture styles call upon elements from the arts and crafts movement and show some Japanese influences as well. He has also produced custom-made mission-style furniture for his clients. While traditional joinery, clean lines, and subtle details characterize much of his work, it is not confining. This is exemplified by his Rapid Gate Ski Chairs, a one-of-a-kind design which was featured in an article in the October 2002 issue of Ski Magazine. Located in Burke, Clanner Woodworks is open by appointment only. Studio Fresca Workshop and Gallery creates mixed-media mosaics from recycled and salvaged materials. Studio Fresca, also in Burke, offers fine art, functional art, architectural installations, jewelry cards, and prints. Also private and group classes and Peaceful Pieces Mosaic Workshop weekend packages are available. Since it was built in 1883, the Inn at Mountain View Farm has undergone several important historical transitions. 
from gentleman's working farm in the late 19th century to gracious country inn in the 20th century, and now home of the Mountain View Farm Animal Sanctuary. Built in 1883 as a gentleman's working farm by Elmer A. Darling, a visionary Vermonter and graduate of MIT, the Mountain View Farm was a model farm which once supplied meat and dairy products to Mr. Darling's prestigious Fifth Avenue Hotel in New York City. In 1989, John Pastore, a Boston cardiologist, and Marilyn Pastore, an active preservationist, became the proud owners of this historic farm. Since then, Marilyn has supervised the extensive restoration of the courtyard and buildings that make up the farm. In 2003, the farm became the home of the nonprofit Mountain View Farm Animal Sanctuary, founded by Dr. John Pastore and dedicated to caring for needy farm animals especially those with a difficult path. Also located in Burke is Sanderson's Wooden Bowls. The Northeast Kingdom is forested with a large variety of hardwoods, which the Sandersons use to make gorgeous wood bowls and other products. All the wood bowls, wooden pens, and other wood pieces are made at the Sanderson's home and studio located in East Burke, just north of the village. They welcome visitors to their studio and invite them to say hello to their friendly donkeys and rabbits while they're there. The Burke Hollow Meeting House was constructed in 1825 by four different congregations and the belfry was added in 1859. The various congregations eventually built their own churches and the building has not been in regular use since 1870. It remains, however, a beautiful example of the 19th century New England church and is still used for an occasional wedding. Located in Lindenville is the Chamberlain Mill Bridge. Also known as the Burrington Bridge, this traditional Queen Post Bridge is located in Linden and features very distinctive gables that historically allowed for better driver visibility. This bridge can be found located just off Wheelock Road. The Miller's Run Bridge is also located in Lindenville and was totally reconstructed in 1995 using the 1878 Queen Post trusses. This Linden covered bridge is a great example of the traditional Vermont covered bridge. The Miller's Run Bridge is located off Route 122. Built in 1867, the 68 foot Randall Bridge is a Queen Post bridge. It has unusually open construction, making it easy to observe the truss structure. The Randall Bridge is located just off Route 114 in Lindenville. The Sanborn Bridge, also called the Center Bridge, is a beautiful 120-foot paddleboard bridge located in Linden. It was built in 1869 to span across the Pasumpsic River, providing tourists with great photo opportunity. The Schoolhouse Bridge, also called the Chase Bridge, was built in 1879 and is located in Linden. Schoolhouse Bridge replaced a much criticized uncovered bridge. It is now a 42-foot Queen Post Bridge, located off South Wheelock Road. The Cobley Public Library is also located in Lindenville. In 1905, Eber W. Cobley do donated $15,000 to erect a public library building in Lindenville. The site of the Silsbury Livery Stable at Main and Depot Street was authorized for purchase at the annual town meeting in March, and the library building was completed in late 1906. Plans for the building were drawn by William J. Sayward, a member of the well-known firm that had designed the Boston Public Library. The library was dedicated and opened to the public in January 1907. The Linden Outing Club is a community organization run entirely by volunteers. The goal of the organization is to provide a fun and safe skiing experience that is affordable for everyone in the community or visiting the area. All that's required to ski or snowboard at the Outing Club is a day lift ticket or season pass. The Chapel of the Holy Family, located on Darling Hill Road in Lindenville, is a place of renewal, rest, and refuge. Set upon a knoll at the edge of a beautiful wooded area, this chapel offers those seeking peace and spiritual growth 
a sanctuary of grace and beauty. Located on an 800-acre property, the chapel is encircled by the natural beauty of its surroundings in the Northeast Kingdom. As visitors tour the chapel and the grounds, they will experience the serenity and peacefulness of the chapel's setting and architecture. The Chapel of the Holy Family is open daily to visitors. Located in Newport is the Goodrich Memorial Library. The first library established in the city of Newport was originated by Dr. John M. Currier in the spring of 1862. In 2003, the Goodrich Memorial Library received a substantial grant and the building has since been restored to its original beauty and elegance. Lake Memphremagog is a 30-mile long lake that crosses the border into Canada. The majority of the Vermont side of the lake is in Newport. The lake is popular among boaters, anglers, and paddlers alike. There's a public beach and campground located at Prouty Beach. The scenery while boating along the lake includes Vermont and Canadian mountain ranges. Along the shore, visitors will find restaurants, lodging, and shopping. The Mack Center for the Arts in downtown Newport showcases artisans' work with a focus on cultural heritage. The center features the works of over 45 artists and handcrafters, which include fine art, photography, jewelry, pottery, wood carving, fiber arts, furniture clocks, and more. Classes and workshops are also held, as well as occasional performances. The Collaborative's website features the works of the members as well as a list of classes, performances, and a calendar of arts and humanities events in the greater Newport area. Prouty Beach in Newport has a swimming area with lifeguard, bathhouse, picnic area, and canoe and paddle boat rentals. There are also 53 camping sites, 4 tent sites, 18 sites with sewer hookup, and 7 sites on the bluffs. Also offered are grills, clean restrooms, picnic tables, a dumping station, four tennis courts, a basketball court, and both have lights for night play. There are washers and dryers, playground equipment, free showers, horseshoe pits, volleyball courts, and plenty of parking for visitors. Located in St. Johnsbury, Catamount Arts was founded in 1975 with a mission of enhancing the cultural climate of northern Vermont and New Hampshire. The Catamount Community Arts Building features two movie theaters, allowing for the presentation of a regular schedule of acclaimed foreign language and independent films. It also features two state-of-the-art classrooms, which are used for art, computer, and music education, an 80-seat performance space dedicated to regular performances by local artists, and a gallery showcasing local and area artists' work. Catamount Arts annually presents an extensive series of performances at venues throughout Vermont's Northeast Kingdom, bringing in nationally known touring artists as well as accomplished local performers. The Fairbanks Museum and Planetarium is Northern New England's premier museum of natural history. The museum was founded in 1889 by St. Johnsbury industrialist Franklin Fairbanks. A lifelong amateur naturalist, Fairbanks collected examples of nature's artistry and diversity throughout the world. His vast personal collections were first made accessible to the public in his Cabinet of Curiosities at Undercliff, his elegant St. Johnsbury mansion. Fairbanks commissioned architect Lambert Packard to design a monumental structure in which to make his remarkable collections available for display and study. To this day, the collections of Franklin Fairbanks remain the backbone of Northern New England's largest museum of natural history. Also in St. Johnsbury is the Northeast Kingdom Artisans Guild. The Northeast Kingdom Artisans Guild is a Vermont artisans cooperative featuring beautiful collections of fine handmade crafts and fine art. Founded in September of 1997 by seven local artisans as a cooperative craft shop, the Northeast Kingdom Artisans Guild is a showcase for more than 100 of Vermont's finest artisans. With a focus on traditional craft, the Northeast Kingdom Artisans Guild is dedicated to exhibiting a wide selection of fine traditional and contemporary craft in a variety of disciplines, including baskets, clay, fiber, 
jewelry, glass, metal, paper, and wood. Fine art includes prints, watercolor, oils, and photography. With the addition of the backroom gallery in 2003, the Guild has created a special annex, which features one-person or collaborative art exhibitions. The backroom gallery exhibits change every six weeks. The mission of the Northeast Kingdom Audubon Society is to foster the stewardship and enjoyment of birds, other wildlife, and natural habitats. NEK Audubon in St. Johnsbury is a Vermont chapter of the National Audubon Society. The National Audubon Society is dedicated to protecting birds, wildlife, and our shared environment, and works on the national stage and locally toward restoring and protecting our natural legacy, securing funding for vital conservation programs, and preserving key natural resource protections. The Audubon Society has had a grassroots presence in Vermont since the founding of the Audubon Society of Vermont in 1901 and has grown to over 4,000 members with eight volunteer chapters throughout the state. The St. John's Baryanthanaeum is a national historic landmark that has served as a center of culture and learning for the regional community for over 130 years. This free public library and art gallery is home to a permanent collection of 19th century paintings, including Albert Berstadt's Majestic Domes of the Yosemite. The Anthenaeum also hosts poetry readings, contemporary art exhibits in the upstairs gallery, and concerts. Located in Westmore and nestled between Mount Pisgah and Mount Hoare, Lake Willoughby is considered by many to be the most beautiful lake in Vermont, reminiscent of a Norwegian fjord and is often referred to as the Lucerne of America. At a depth of 312 feet, it is a favorite of divers and also offers public beaches at the north and south ends with restrooms, excellent boating and fishing, quaint shops, lodging, and restaurants lining the shore. The Northeast Kingdom Byway offers endless recreational opportunities throughout the seasons, notable dining and lodging facilities, quintessential Vermont villages resplendent with classic architecture, enduring farmland, and a rich diversity of art, unique shops, entertainment, and event venues all year long. We hope you'll take some time to view the other byway trainings and encourage visitors to the region to explore the Northeast Kingdom Byway.